Near Dundonald, on the edge of Belfast, Tony Johnston grows trees. He's a sixth generation farmer. His grandfather kept cattle. Now Tony has a tree farm and does forestry work for other landowners. This March, he's planting Christmas trees. He's trialing a new method of growing them in pots. They actually allow water to actually get into the soil around the roots of the tree, but it's also when the small roots from the, the tree in the pot grow out, they can then get more nutrition from the soil that's surrounding the pot, they're not just pot bound. Uh, and when we lift the pot then, we take a knife and we cut the roots off at the outside, um, take this pot off and put a, a fresh red pot or a shiny black pot on, uh, and these pots then get reused. This is a, a means of extending our selling season um, and getting Christmas trees into people's houses that are actually going to be fresher and last. Just a, a slightly different way of doing Christmas trees. This is the first time it's been done in Northern Ireland. So we're trying to make sure we get the, the bottom of the hole flat. If we have a pot that sits at an angle, if it goes in and it's slightly at an angle, when the tree's planted, the tree will grow straight up and down. But if it's at an angle when it comes out in seven years' time, you're going to have a tree that's going to be sitting at an angle. It's not going to sit straight. So we'll have to get the foundations right. We'll have to get the pots in. have to be horizontally flat. And like everything to do with Christmas trees, it's all manual labour. It's all done by hand. Or the vast majority of it is all done by hand. And where we can mechanise, we can. But it's very much hands-on. We do have some of the specialist machines for going up and down the rows. It's access. They grow quite close together. It's quite difficult to get the, the right machines to do the right jobs. It'll be at least seven years before Tony can start harvesting these trees. We're only planting you know, 500 potted trees this year um, as an experiment. Um, in the past, we've planted you know, up to 20, 22,000 cut trees, so you know, 500 trees, relatively small in comparison to you know, your normal field planting. So here I'm exposing the top of the pot so I can make sure that the tree goes into the centre of the pot. This year I'll expect maybe two or three inches of growth. If I can get four or five inches I'd be delighted. So that means at the end of this year the tree will be there. It's really just putting its roots down in its first year. Year two, year three, year four will be in shaping and cutting and clipping. And ultimately then these trees should be coming in five, six years time. With the trees you actually become quite attached to them. Um, and you know, any forestry because you have a sense of achievement, they're growing and moving on and you can see what's happened. And when it comes to Christmas trees, you know, I can sit with Christmas trees in the yard and tell you all that history of that tree, where it came from, where it was cut down and all about it. And it, sometimes you have to catch yourself on because it's quite sad that you actually you know, have these trees that are your little babies that are going off to their new homes. But it's feeling like any other farmer, you, know, you could have a flock of sheep, but they'll know each individual sheep. I mean, we'll know each individual tree, you know, tens of thousands of the damn things. This stuff is just a bit smelly, but it's, it's a mixture of processed chicken litter and seaweed. Um, we're using it here, really, with the pots as a top dressing. To, to give them a bit of a, a boost. So you've got your, you know, it's a fertilizer, but also a soil conditioner. One of the most important things in their soil is earthworms. And the soil conditioner will actually hopefully help and feed the earthworms, and they can do a lot of the work for you. There's no quick or easy way of doing this. It's all by hand and it's all slow. But if we can get the foundations right today, you know, this is a crop that's in the ground for the next six, seven years. If you don't get it right today, then you know, we've, we're going to be paying for that for years to come. Last stage now is really just to get these mulch mats on. Uh, and the idea of the mulch mats is that it's going to prevent the, the weeds growing and you know, enclose the tree. So it's an added expense, but hopefully it cuts down the cost of um, weeding the tree in the future.